in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. They'll begin here with Blunt, and he'll lose yardage and be down at the seven-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. The best offenses and the ones that win are ones that make adjustments, and right now, I think this team needs to open things up. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. The Lions on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and nine. A shotgun snap for Stafford. And that is incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. Here's Sam Martin now as he's on to punt for Detroit. Turn there, 27 yards all told. And the Rams are going to start this drive in great field position as they take over. And the Rams now coming out on the field. And last time, they had it fourth and goal, rolled the dice, didn't get it. Now they've got to put that behind them, try to put together another drive. A simple tip of the cap, a nod of the head to the defense. Congratulations, you got us last time. But you didn't hold us the whole time. We got down to position. We were able to be in position to score. Let's go ahead and attack again. Continue to have that kind of confidence. Not worry about the one play that didn't allow it to get into the end zone. And this time they'll be trying to get it into the end zone. We'll see what they do. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. That good for 19 at a first down. Gurley again here on first down. And he'll keep it moving down to the 15-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Two for 66. Now on second down, this is Gurley. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. Back to throw. Gone. This is caught. It's Cooks. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Now it's gone. This will be caught at about the six. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. And partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. They get it to him running left. And he 
is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Todd Gurley taking it in from four yards out. And the Rams add on to their lead. Now Zerline on to add the extra point. Zerline connects on the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Zerline out now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Lions offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. From the gun, here's Stafford. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. He had their lone TD earlier. Now he's got a first down. Stafford now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Out of the gun, Stafford. And it's caught over the middle, Wilson. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Time for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this. Now a first down throw, Stafford. Wilson snags it, left side. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends are creating so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. you got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. Extra point good by Prater. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. And the hands team for the Rams able to secure the football. A tough one there. They certainly wanted that when they needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. You're exactly right. They had to attempt it, but even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not lost. Back to the workhorse today, it's Gurley. And he's gonna be stopped at about the 37. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. 
but they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. And he's going to get this inside the 30. And now the Lions going to stop us momentarily as they call a timeout. As they stop it here with a minute seven remaining. So on the heels of the run by Todd Gurley, another first and ten. On the handoff, it's Gurley. Down to the 25. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure Three just one. about all 11 probably crashing the line here. Goff going to throw it. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Cup. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. It's a gain of 14 there, and that should be enough to get him home free. Here comes a 20th carry for Gurley. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. And the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. You know, if you're in this spot, why would you throw the ball? And he talked about trust in his quarterback and trust in his offense. But still. And then at the end, he kind of went, yeah, not really a good reason. Right. <laughs> Picked off by the Pro Bowler, Marcus Peters. And a great return here gets this one all the way down to the 26-yard line. Well, we were on hand for a fun and entertaining game here, coming down really to that last play. Great job defensively to get the pick and seal it. And we know that every play during a game matters. You're never sure which one's going to be one of the key ones. But at the end of the game, when you analyze it, three, four, five plays are going to be the ones you focus on. And that last play was one of them. The last shot had to take it. And they came up with the interception and sealed their victory. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long, everyone, from Ford Field.